Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and today I just need to get a bunch of stuff off of my chest regarding one of my favorite modes, if not my favorite Hearthstone mode of all time, the arena that has just been overrun by tons of problems that seemingly have been ignored or just have been completely just left unresolved for almost half a year at this point. And I just want to communicate that, put out what's going on and well, what can be done about it. And as you can see, it's not the first mode in Hearthstone that seemingly feels like it's dying. As I tweeted out, mercenaries already dead, duels basically on life support, classic is dead uh, when Twist comes out, is Arena next with that, yes, Mr. Destructoid up there for a reason. Before we get into everything though, I do want to give a last reminder. We're going to give uh, announce the giveaway winner tomorrow for that Rafam portrait, the legendary one. I'm giving one away. Winner will be announced tomorrow. All you have to do is like and comment in the video description below. Be subscribed to the channel. You have a chance to win it when it comes out. It's not out yet, but it should be around like 25 bucks or whatever, and you will get it out of my pocket. So what are we talking about? Well, I'm talking about the arena, obviously. And um, there's a multitude of issues. Uh, we have this video not that long ago that outlines one of the biggest issues. Um, the black market industry has invested Hearthstone, legitimate thing where it mostly, I believe, started uh, in the Chinese servers. And once those got shut down, when that NetEase thing like fell through and basically Blizzard has no partner in China, so the game is not available there. They all like, you know, use VPNs and other ways to get around that. They're now playing on like America server, all of that. And you can see they buy uh, arena accounts. This is like the market where they buy it. And it's mostly by people that stream. There's a lot of streamers that do it as well as other people. They even have like promoted events showing off like what cards are like, it's just really crazy. And it's a really big deal to the point where if you're a like regular arena player, you are facing these accounts all the time. Judge, a uh, prominent arena content creator, tweeted this a while ago, trying my hardest to give chat draft leaderboard a fun and legitimate try, but I feel like I might be wasting my time. Uh, this crap is daily, not sure what to do. And you see these, what has been basically dubbed barcode accounts, where you just face like complete gibberish, and they're always these incredible broken decks. My last two arena runs I streamed, all six losses were to these accounts. And they're just ridiculous decks that you just have no chance of beating unless you get really lucky. And that kind of ruins the point of the arena experience where it's supposed to be two players drafting, you know, random whatever and trying to beat each other. And when you're facing like constructed style stuff, it feels awful. And as far as I can tell, nothing has really been done about it. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. And all you gotta do is look at the leaderboards to see how like widespread it is. If you look at the top of the leaderboards, you'll see Judge, by the way, managed to get number one with his chat draft challenge. He's just that good. And you can see only like out of what, how many players are on this leaderboards? Apparently 5,000, but we'll see in a second why that's completely overstated. But even then we only have eight players that average seven or more. So eight players are getting their gold back on average, but only on 30 runs. Basically, Arena is a complete gold sink. You are losing your gold no matter what at this point. But the real problem is if you take a look at the bottom of the leaderboard, that's where you see all these barcode accounts. See, barcode accounts are just auto-generated um, Hearthstone names like Swanky Pants, Azure Bear, or just, you know, complete utter gibberish. And what these accounts do, basically they bought like classic or whatever, they bought a mode, farm a bunch of gold. Once they have enough gold, they go through and draft an arena and retire over and over and over and over until they get that dream deck. They sell that account. That, that draft is played one time and the account is abandoned. And you can see there are tons of these accounts at the lowest of uh, the leaderboards. That's all these accounts are. And there are so many. There's, I'm sorry, when you're at 0.13, do you think that many real life human beings are playing Hearthstone Arena and are that bad that they're averaging less than, like it's just all the same account. So you see there are hundreds, hundreds. You can go through and this is, just a complete and ridiculous problem that is just flooding the leaderboards, flooding the game, making the play experience bad, 
terrible. And this has been an issue since the Chinese server shut down. Apparently this was an issue in, in the Chinese servers, period. They couldn't figure out how to deal with it. And now we're at the point where it is just getting bigger, larger, and more frustrating for players on the Americas. Apparently I've heard from like Redbeard, he doesn't even bother playing on the Americas anymore. He tries to hide in like other servers where it's not as bad. But as you can see, this is the Asia Pacific server. You got a lot of these accounts as well. EU only has 6,200 users. So from what I've heard from the arena streamers, the best place to go in EU, there are still these accounts there, but it seems like there's a little less of them, but still you can see I'm only like on the third page already up to 0.5. It's not nearly as bad. So if you want the best arena play experience and you don't care about your server, EU is the way to go. So this problem, continues and I don't know how Blizzard can address it. One of the issues that they have is that these accounts are reported and by the time they remove them, they've already played their one arena and left, right? Like they abandoned the account after the arena. They could try and maybe spice up the requirements to get into the arena. Maybe you have to have a certain level for every class, but then you're making the arena less, you know, new player friendly. And that's the problem I have. If you look at the arena, this was the mode that got me into Hearthstone. I was a Crip Watcher and a Moz Watcher, all those like arena streamer, OG, Ratsma. That's what I did when I started Hearthstone. I played arena like crazy and I still do. I have nearly 15,000 arena wins. It is one of my favorite modes in the game. I love it. As it is now, for me, it's just unplayable, but it goes a little bit even further than the barcode accounts, than this botting problem. The arena itself just feels like it's almost been kind of abandoned in a way. It's almost reminding me of duels to an extent. If you look at the current arena class distribution, it is an unbalanced mess. And it's been this way for months. Where Druid, Warlock, you look at Priest of Demon Hunter, like terrible. And normally there'd be like micro adjustments or some kind of adjustments to even out the classes, but that really hasn't been done, which is really peculiar to me because they have been doing it so much. Also, Arena has just been standard cards for quite some time now. They're just keep re-rolling standard, which for me makes Arena a lot less fun because the power level's too high because I like to play the Arena for more board-based battles, you know, traditional Hearthstone to get away from that. But now it feels like Arena is almost like standard light. And if you look at like the top class in Mage, look at the cards that are most common in decks. And you got like Fiddlefire Imp, two random cards, Spell Coiler, random cards, Synthesize, random cards. And you can discover like Infantize the Maxitude quite reliably uh, in the game when you, especially like Vast Wisdom, you have all these cards that are just like created by, created by, created by, and it just feels like Letter. I just don't find the arena experience to be, to me, what I fell in love with the arena, which is more board-based combat or bumping yetis, as they like to say the Hearthstone boomers like to do, but at the end of the day, a little bit more traditional. And we don't have that right now. And a lot of that is it's just all standard cards. Like we don't have the pool diluted, but with like old wild sets or adventures or whatever. And I just don't get why it's been just standard arena. So it feels like the mode doesn't really get that much attention, even in adjustments, the card balance, it's just a mess. And then you have this botting issue that just makes, like, I'm sorry, it makes my blood boil. My last like series of arena opponents literally you take a look at these six names or whatever that's just what i face all the time and it's just a miserable unfun experience where you know that the player that's playing their account the, the rewards their you know the result doesn't even matter they're just gonna move on to another account and just make the play experience worse for everybody else so i just wanted to put this out there spread the message about arena i feel like i'm just worried i'm worried that it's gonna be another dead mode you know we've had a lot of modes that have shown promise like you can laugh at mercenaries all you want there was some potential there duels at one point i was in love with but now the bucket system's like been abandoned and it just there's been no updates and classic itself is being removed but i think that's for the better honestly because i think twist although i'm not a big fan of the first format new age i don't really want to see Stormwind. I think Twist has limitless potential and I'm super excited about it, but I'm really worried that Arena could just die off because you see the frustration from, you know, 
arena content creators you see the frustration from the arena community i see it all the time in my comments i don't want this mode to die to go away in any way because it is to me the essence of hearthstone it's like the fundamentals of hearthstone it's where i learned to play it's where i fell in love with the game and it feels like it's kind of close to my heart close to my heart as a former crypt mod and fan and of just you know that's where crypt started with the arena hearthstone and all of that it's just I really hope they could figure something out. And I do know I can relay this. They are aware of the situation. They're just struggling to fix at least the botting stuff. But even at the end of the day, it's like the card problem itself too is a big thing. It just needs like a big overhaul of some, some TLC. Give it some love, give it some care and bring Arena back to its former glory or, you know, at least try and get close. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.